All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and I am in the house. Welcome back to the channel. I am in the house with something pretty, pretty cool made in Canada by Randy Doucette. Uh, look at that. I've got the killer uh, serpent uh, over here. Look at that. Um, very, very interesting knife. It's a custom knife made in Canada by the man Randy Doucette. We get a, a pretty cool Mokutai set of bolsters uh, um, matching the backspacer, which is floating. You have some nicely done titanium liners uh, with a little bit of... Let me focus like up close. Look at that. A little bit of uh, orange peel finish to it and blue anodized, of course. Um, marble camo carbon fiber for the scales you have some pretty pretty cool nice and contrasty damask steel blade by the edge this is a false edge it's not sharp of course because this is exposed up here so you don't want to get cut but anyways this is sharp this is the sharp part you have, uh, this is a, a flipper knife, it's a liner lock. Of course, you have matching uh, raindrop. I believe this is, sorry, Zirku tie. Look at the colors going on on this fella. So good. Um, very, very well made. Impeccable fit and finish, guys, for this fella right over here. Anyways, let's do a little bit of a size comparison. Um, let's see in inches today. I feel like inch guy, like, th no, 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 no. I feel like centimeter guy. So let's do, let's say 10 centimeters for the overall blade length and 12 for the handle, 22, 10 plus 12 for the overall size for this uh, serpent. But look at this, look at this tanto. Sorry, not Tant, <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's Tanto, sorry, right over here. That's the Shogun and that is the Antidote. So you get a nice family picture, three Randy set. Clearly, that's the men's design language. It's unmistakable. Like, for example, it's unmistakable. This design language right over here, Fisher, this is the launch. And uh, uh, look at this. Uh, um, what else? So those are custom. Let me show you just these couple two uh, classic iconic knives. Uh, large Sebenza 21, small 21, Chris Reeve uh, Blade HQ exclusive knives. Anyways, we are here to check out this Randy set. It's pretty cool, guys. Look at this action right over here. Uh, fit and finish, I said, is just gorgeous, spectacular, nice and flush. The, you can't feel this. It's fantastic like guys there's no way uh, i mean like maybe the temperature but to the touch it's crazy how well this guy's made i love it it's uh, it might be not like uh, everyone's cup of tea but i'm telling you the ergos are just outstanding this thing it just fits like a glove uh, these finger grooves are spectacular there's just a little bit of a hot spot Spot. I mean, not really hot spot, but kind of there, but mainly here. So, because this is where your your thumb lays and where it's supposed to be jimped, there's that. So that just, no, it's, it's not comfortable at all because, uh, I mean, it, it serves like to keep the overall design intact, kind of daggery style, but uh, it just doesn't work. Anyways, you have some beautifully jeweled on the inside set of titanium liners. Um, the bolsters are secured with two screws that are visible. They're not hidden. Uh, as well, it's not hidden the uh, hard or for the tip-up carry only pocket clip. Nice, good retention. This much is going to be sticking out. There's no lanyard all op option for you guys. So forget about the lanyard. Uh, you have a nice, pretty cool floating backspacer, which is uh, showing that the blade is just slightly off center maybe i'm wondering if uh, this could be there's not really much play the action is just spectacular guys maybe i can fix this uh, not in post but uh, in uh, yeah it's just slightly off center and it's not touching anywhere, but anyways i get uh, to see i believe this is like zirk hardware uh for the pivot, a pretty cool anodized blue uh, screws for this for the scales. You have uh, 
no finger choil. I mean, kind of you have a finger choil, not comfortable, but not really a sharpening choil. In this hollow grind, look at this complex grind, the flat here, hollow here. Uh, nice high contrast damascus steel blade for this semper, serpent, uh, super pointy blade. This action is spectacular, by the way. The detent is just dialed in. Pretty cool, fully dressed uh, knife, guys. Just flies like a rocket. I just cut the table. Anyways, this thing, I mean, the action, the sound is crisp. Kind of double clutch. Clack, clack. It's, it's pretty cool, guys. I like it. Boom, that's done. Um, let's check the weight and see how this guy is doing. There's no internal skeletonization. This is a big boy, so you don't complain about the 6.77 ounces. Yeah, that's that's a lot, I know, but this is a big boy. It's a big knife, it's a full-size knife. Look at this, I mean, it, it just, yeah, it feels great in the hand. There's a gorgeous action. There's nah, just a little bit of a hot spot here, but it's not like super sharp. Uh, lock bar axis is pretty good. Uh, you see there's a nice uh, uh, roomy area to um, take care of that. It's it's smooth. The, um, this, the surface is smooth, but not really slippery, I would say. It's super grippy because of the, like guys, this thing is locked like locked into your hand. It's not gonna go anywhere. Like even reverse grip of this fella is just gorgeous. Look at the space uh, for the thumb. I mean, it's just fantastic, yeah. yeah I, again, it might be not the cup of tea for everyone, I, I understand, but it's 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 gorgeous. It's very well made. It's, it's a custom knife made by Randy Doucette in Canada. It has no stainless steel lock face insert, but there's no lock stick in this fella. That's how good it is. So good geometry, I guess. Uh, and um, I mean, everything else checks out. You might complain for the weight, for the size, sure. But you cannot complain that this is, uh, uh, there's, there's no craftsmanship. You cannot complain that the action is bad. You cannot complain uh, about uh, the materials employed because they are gorgeous. I mean, guys, this is a pretty cool one. So there you have it. Serpent, killer knife from Randy Doucette. There you have it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.